Are you riding? Say you never ever. Hello guys, it is Maddie Caposa and welcome back to my channel. This video that I'm doing today is something that I've been waiting to do for a really long time. Pause. And we're back. I apologize for the layout because my twin was taking a cover for our other YouTube channel and I was just way too lazy to put everything back to where it was. Honestly, if you look up lazy in the dictionary, my name would be right by it. So, the video I'm going to be doing today is eyelash lifting. There's two different types. There's eyelash perming and there's eyelash lifting. Perming is whenever you have short eyelashes and you want them to be curled. And lifting is when you have long eyelashes and you just want them to be lifted. So I'm going to be doing eyelash lifting because I feel like my eyelashes would just look very strange if they were permed because I have pretty long eyelashes. So this video was just so unnecessarily a pain in the ass. I ordered one kit and then realized it wasn't through Amazon Prime and wasn't going to get here until like August 2nd. I canceled it and apparently whenever I canceled it they were shipping it already so it's gonna come anyways, but I'm just gonna return it. I was able to find something similar that came with Amazon Prime, so it came with days. Have not yet opened it, but this is what it looks like. Eyelash perming kit. Hope that they have lifting things. That would be a problem. <laughs> smells hella weird. I'll put the link in the description. This is not paid promotion. I'm just doing this video because I want to. For the longest time I've wanted eyelash extensions, but I would never get them because it really destroys your eyelashes. It takes your eyelashes out. So I figured this would be a good alternative, but it's like hella expensive to get it done. I don't even know. $25 to $70 depending upon where you live. That's not bad. I thought that was a lot worse. This kit was like $18, so I guess I'm saving money. This is for the lifting. They're like the things you see on Instagram where they're like stickers and they go up. And these are perming, so these as you can see are rods that you put and it actually perms. The problem that I'm having is that there's no directions. That's a bit of an issue because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit. Hey. Well, this is not the type of instructions that I was looking for. I was looking for something with pictures. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm going to use a video or pictures online because I don't trust myself with words. Just not a person who reads very well and you know, this is on my eyes and I could possibly go blind if I did this wrong. Okay, so I'm just reading this because when I searched how to perm your eyelashes, a question came up, do eyelash perms damage your eyelashes? And I was just curious, so I clicked on it. And it says, even without touching the eye, the lash perm chemicals can be irritating. Wearing contact lenses can increase the irritation too. Well, I don't have my contacts in, so I'm good. Avoid touching or washing your eyes too much after receiving an eyelash perm. The chemicals used during the perming process can damage your eyelashes, making your lashes more brittle. As with all chemical treatments, the most important thing is safety. The way to get the best treatment is to see a professional that specializes in lash perming. Before booking the appointment, ask your technician how many lash perms she does in a week and how many years of experience she has. This will ensure that you're getting a trained expert and not an amateur. Well, I've never done an eyelash perm in my entire life and I don't even know how it's supposed to be done. So this should be a lot of fun. These kits are like $160, this one's $94 and mine was 18. You know what? It's fine. We're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with this. There's literally no instructions online that I can find other than videos, and I don't really want to watch a video. After I applied the pink perming solution, I let that sit for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm not. We're gonna use the instructions. We're gonna do one eye at a time because obviously I need to be able to see, and if it like 
completely takes off my eyelashes, at least I'll have one eye that's normal, I guess. Cleanse the lashes, number four. Oh, shit. It actually comes with water? Literally says, cleanse or water. This is just taking off all of my foundation. <laughs> I have foundation on. I don't have any eye makeup on, but I do have foundation on. Look at this. I swear I'm not wearing that much. So I think I've cleaned my eyelashes enough with my cleanser water. I really, it's really making me nervous that none of these have like the ingredients. Like, there's no ingredients. Second, apply the shields, white silicone pad or roller. So I'm gonna be using these pads. I'm gonna do mediums. So we got our silicone pads. Okay, so we're gonna apply the glue, which is number five. This is just traumatizing looking. Okay. I'm nervous as hell. Like, I feel like I should like cut it some. There we go. Okay, it's good. Put this glue on. Oh my God. This is so hard. Ow, that's so uncomfortable. Look at my eye. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Attach the eyelashes to the shield. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually like, putting my eyelashes up on the shield with the glue. I have this brush that I got from like my makeup. Nice, it's not even working. I don't know, I should've probably done more research. So I'm just gonna use a bobby band because I feel like that would just be so much easier. Shit, I didn't take a before and after. Well, I guess I have my left eye. Apply the perm lotion, number one. We're perming, guys. Ew, this shit. Wait, they're coming unstuck. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They're coming unstuck. All right, I think we're gonna have to do this again. Oh! <sighs> Hi guys, it's Maddie Capoza. I'm back with another video. <laughs> We are going to be using this small size now. That smells like shit. Literally guys, when I tell you it smells bad, like it smells bad. Well, I've got plenty of glue on there. It's actually burning my... Now I'm gonna use Q-tips. Apply from the base to the midsection. Shit, I missed that part. <laughs> as hell like I'm a very dramatic person I'm fully aware of that but this is actually like really burning I guess that means it's working or some shit 10 to 15 minutes you're not supposed to get it on your skin and that's like why it was burning so bad so this is what it looks like hey guys we're back so I was watching some videos as I was doing this and realized all the things that I was doing wrong first of all you're not supposed to put it on the tips of your eyelashes, which I did. Um, I am going to take this off now. It's been about 10 minutes. First, I'm going to use a dry one. So now I'm going to use the setting solution, which is like, I'm going to show you how you're supposed to put it on. And this is how you're supposed to put on like the first perming solution. You're supposed to put it on thickly, like halfway in between your eyelashes, like in a line. You're supposed to do this, like 
I can't talk and do things at the same time because I like <laughs> not a formation, but these are like all coming off. Look at that. It's coming. <gasps> That's why they're coming unstuck. Because I wiped the glue off. Not like this is really gonna matter, but 10 minutes of this. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm gonna take this off. My face, I'm sure, looked really pretty in that. There are a lot of eyelashes still on, but there's still a lot of eyelashes that have fallen off. Let me zoom in so you guys can kind of see. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> now is the last step. The oh Lord. The moisturizer lotion, which I guess gets the glue, so I'm not like ripping my eyelashes off. But this goes on, it's supposed to go on for five minutes. I blinked and they like all came undone. Okay, oh, hold on. Going through and brushing these with that. Ow! Oh. They're done. I'm not surprised, like, they look nice, but like, then again, my eyelashes, I have like five of them. I feel like eyelash perms are more important for people with short, thick lashes um, or medium-sized thick lashes. I don't think it really does anything for people who have thin eyelashes like me. I don't know if it's really worth it for me to have this and do this frequently. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna be back and show you guys both of them. I am back after a very long, like, 30 minutes. Um, so this is the final product. So my eyelashes are definitely curled. I'm sorry, I don't have a before and after, but you can kind of see the before and after in the earlier part of the video where I had my right one done and my left one not done. I was doing research during my time of waiting and I found a place near me that does do eyelash perming and it's $70. $70 to do what I just did. Obviously the person is a paid professional but it's the same exact thing that I was just doing. I don't know about you but if I had enough practice I could do that perfectly fine. If it was $30, sure, I pay the $30 to have it professionally done. I feel like if you have super thick, coarse lashes and they're medium size, this would be perfect for you. But come on now. Will I do this again? Probably not. The way my eyelashes look right now is how they look when I curl them with my eyelash curler, um, which that's cool. That's awesome. I hope those of you who want to do this kind of have an idea on how to do it and use my video as a what not to do because I didn't fully um, do research before I did this and I would suggest watching multiple, multiple videos on how to do this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please, if you did like this video, please like it and please subscribe that would be awesome Bye. kiki do you love me are you riding say you'll never ever leave from beside me cause i want you and i need you and i'm down for you always